This is Kingdom Sound TV. You are welcome. On this channel, we will share content of our father and mentor, Apostle Joshua Selman. As you listen, remain ever blessed. Thank you. I got your goodness is Jesus Christ. The apostle said, such as I have, give I unto you. I stand by the God of heaven and by the privilege of the election of grace, by the mercy of the God of David. I stretch my hands over everyone here and those who are following. In the name that is above all names, may the grace that empowers financially, may that grace rest on you. May that grace rest on you. I open the gates of wealth and abundance. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I command supernatural supply. Resources that have a purpose. Non-distracting blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ. I shift systems and structures. And I pray that your portion in God's economy, let it come to you. Thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through fire and through water. But thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. In the name of Jesus, it's like an initiation. May you step into the realm of wealth. May you step into the realm of abundance. May you step into the realm of wealth. May you step into the realm of abundance. For his name's sake, in the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you who are uniquely called into the ministry of kingdom financing, I pray for you. May God make supplies available for you. And may you have the heart to do much for the kingdom. May pride and reproach not destroy you as God lifts you. Listen, the pandemic has brought many families, many churches, many individuals to a point of standstill. Sincere people who love Jesus. Don't pretend like what I'm praying is not important. There are families, the number one cause, statistically proven, the number one cause for divorce is finance and financially related issues but you see every time we talk about finance what we first think about is just job or some business somewhere there is a place for providing value but i'm telling you you are first empowered from the spirit those channels only give expression it is not the basis for your wealth the channels can change but if the grace is there the result will be the same Hallelujah. For some of you, you will be surprised at the supernatural connections that God will bring as a result of this prayer. Strangers, captains of industry, men and women you have no business meeting. Supernaturally, my God will connect you to them and they will make for your lifting in the name of Jesus. There are many of you here, you will enter prepared blessings. Listen, hear me. There are times that God will give you the grace to farm and then bring increase to your crop. There are times that God will help men to give you crops. But there are times bread can come from heaven. Bread is already processed. As soon as you hold it, all that is left is to eat it. 
if you are hungry and you need food urgently what you need is not the grace to farm it will take four months before it grows you need bread from heaven first then your farm is prospered is it not in your bible that he gives bread to the eater seed to the sower i've seen your seed where is your bread because he gives both you collected seeds and you left bread my god gives both bread and seed step into prepared blessings families here step into prepared blessings it's not a call for laziness it's not a call for seriousness it's an advantage that we have as the saints in this kingdom one more time step into prepared blessings ministries represented here may god raise strong financial pillars to stand behind you in the name of jesus christ may you lay up gold as dust in the name of jesus christ that you will get to a point in your life where you will never think about money again your heart will be inclined to the kingdom and all that you desire is his glory soul's destiny change in the name of jesus christ let me pray for you if there is anyone here debt is on your neck you are owing personally corporately there's all kinds of financial burden i don't care how you got into that trouble in the name of jesus the bible says they are taking for a prey and none say it restore i stand by the god of heaven and i pray in the name of jesus may help arise and bail you out of that tragedy may help may help arise and bail you out of that trouble may help arise and bail you out of that trouble may help arise and bail you out of that trouble and i pray for you may you not waste your money through foolish financial decisions hear me any decision any investment any business any value platform that will destroy your money and only cause you pain through discernment i pray that my god will help you get out of it and stay away from it and then by extension for those trusting god for jobs in the name of jesus i agree with you supernatural jobs from heaven supernatural jobs jobs with honor jobs with honor in the name of jesus christ let me pray for those in business you are in business here regardless what level of achievement god has helped you to make i pray in the name of jesus rise to a new dimension of achievement everyone due for promotion we declare in jesus name your season has come yeah. hallelujah let me pray for families here with circles of tragedy the same month everything happens people rise and get to certain levels and things go down the bible says we have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation that means the limitations of territory and ancestry ought not to be part of your life i stand by the god of heaven and i decree and declare that every reoccurring pattern be delivered from it now before and were rejected i place an unction upon your life go back and be accepted go back and be accepted hallelujah acts chapter 12 there is a grace for visibility the bible says Peter was bound hand and feet and he was put in prison. The Bible says, but prayers were offered by the believers unto God for them. Suddenly an angel comes to the prison, dislodges everything and the chains fell off their own. And the Bible says he led him out through the first gate. Listen carefully. 
He was out of the prison but he was still not free Led him through the second gates the Bible declares Then the Bible says and he came to the iron gate that opens to the city There is a gate that opens to the city It's called the iron gate When that gate is open all that you see else is the city it's a, There is a grace for visibility Hear me just because you have what to say does not mean men will listen to you just because you have what to sell does not mean men will buy just because you are valuable and gifted there are many gifted musicians there are gifted men and women of god heavily graced but the grace for visibility is not there the iron gate that separates you you are not in the prison but the city cannot see you and the Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. I pray for you. The gate that covers your visibility, let it be open heater and heater. The gate that covers your visibility in ministry, in business, let it be open heater and heater. In the name of Jesus Christ. By prophecy, I push you to a higher realm of influence, a higher realm of visibility. Don't be tired of receiving, something is coming on you. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. When an Egyptian blesses you, O Israelite, you are really favored. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Emptiness has an explanation. In the name of Jesus, whatever re recycles emptiness in your hands, by this function of favor, let emptiness dry up in your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Two more prayers and we are done. Hey. The Bible says through wisdom a house is built. Many believers do not know the excellency of wisdom. Wisdom is so powerful, the Bible says, wisdom is the principal thing. It says, that in all you're getting, you, you get, um, what is it, how did he put it now? That with all you're getting, you get understanding. Exalt time, he says, she shall promote you. She will put a crown of glory upon your head when thou dost embrace her. He says, by me kings reign and princes decree justice. With me are riches, wealth and honor. Yea, durable riches and righteousness. Wisdom was there when God founded the earth. Through wisdom a house, amplified says a destiny is built. Many of us, the gap between where we are and where we need to go to is the wisdom of God. There are three levels of wisdom. There is one that comes from above, but there is one that is earthly, Sophia. Wisdom that comes through education. There is demoniacal wisdom, devilish. But it says the wisdom that comes from above is first pure. Many of us are operating at scientific wisdom. Wisdom through studies and experience is a risk. You must move to a higher frequency of wisdom. It was the wisdom of Solomon given by God. By wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open now. With understanding you order the season. Pat Robinson Pat Robinson is the founder of 700 Club Christian Broadcasting Network Many years ago I listened to him And he's one man whose life has greatly inspired me And 
when he was about to start ministry as a young man he went to God and asked for three things he bowed his knees and he says God number one give me wisdom number two give me favor number three give me the anointing of the Holy Ghost and God answered that prayer when I heard him say that I went to God I said God number one give me wisdom number two give me favor number three the anointing of the Holy Ghost and God answered that prayer wisdom the excellency of wisdom cannot be compared to one by anything earthly in the name of Jesus the spirit of wisdom Isaiah 11 the spirit of wisdom may it come upon your life the spirit of wisdom from the depth of my heart may the wisdom from heaven come upon your life come upon your ministry come upon your business in the name of Jesus Christ be patient we are praying Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with a kind of oil called the oil of gladness. And the assignment of that oil is to set you above your fellows. Hear me. My brothers and my sisters, honor is a grace. This thing called honor is one of the seven things that was purchased for us in redemption. Honor. What is the lamb that was slain to receive for us riches and blessings and honor? You know what it means to honor a man? To be regarded with esteem, to be regarded with attention, to be preferred. Many people do not have honor in their life. You can look for honor for yourself. The Bible says this honor, no man take it to himself. You can surround people to honor you, but there is honor as a grace. He said, Joshua, he told Moses, in whom the spirit is upon, he says, anoint him, and then he says, take some of your honor and give to him. Honor is transferable. There is a difference between honor and respect. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. It is another that will honor you. There's a big difference between honor and respect. I pray for you. Everything that brings shame, despising who and what you represent, by this impartation of honor, be distinguished in the name of Jesus. Be distinguished in the name of Jesus. You may be 20 in your family, but may this grace distinguish you. In your place of work, may this unction of honor distinguish you. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Finally, I think I should do this. Passion and fire for the things of God. proof of health when you are sick one of the things you lose is appetite fire for prayer fire that provides discipline to stay with the word fire for fellowship service in the house of God I pray for you in the name of Jesus a new level of hunger for spiritual things receive it right now Fresh fire for prayer. Fresh fire for prayer and intercession. Fresh fire.
fire for prayer. May your word study life come back on fire. Your word study life come back on fire. Your word study life come back on fire. Listen, we are wrapping up. Some of you open your Bible and you can read one verse for five hours. It's an attack. You read it, you cannot move past it. You will sleep and wake up. You can watch movie for six hours. But the moment you open this book, sleep comes. How about prayer? You get up to prayer and you stroll for two minutes and kneel down on your bed and wake up by eight o'clock. It's an attack. He spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Whatever has killed your prayer life, here at this miracle service, let it come back on fire. If you are a man of God here, and spiritual laziness is upon you, no word study no prayer and no giving there are many men of god who don't give if you don't give you will not increase even if your members are blessing you mysteriously you will remain at the same level because your lifting is not from their giving your lifting is from your own obedience in the name of jesus grace and strength for your ministry by the power of the holy spirit amen and amen Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Chapter 19. And verse 11 please Acts chapter 19 and verse 11 we have a lot to do tonight we're going to pray and we'll trust God to just visit us Acts chapter 19 and verse 11 and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul 12 it says so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirit went out two things diseases and evil spirits it was not just diseases that departed evil spirits departed it was not just diseases that departed listen carefully the bible says the special miracle was demonstrated by the exit of two entities one diseases second unclean spirits that means it's not an ordinary miracle for a spirit that has stayed and been the basis for the destruction of destinies to be exited. The Bible does not call it an ordinary miracle. It says they are special miracles. This kind goeth not, he said. There is a kind that can go carelessly, but this kind goeth not, but by prayer and fasting. Let me tell you this, when Jesus in Luke chapter 4 announced the fact that he was Messiah, the first thing that happened was he saw someone with a withered hand and he said, stretch your hands. Immediately there was a miracle and then the Bible will record that unclean spirits. You know what unclean spirits, are? it doesn't mean they are dirty spirits. It means they are spirits that do not support the program of God. Are we together now? Spirits that are not based, they are not governed by the word of God. And the Bible lets us know that they exist among men. Their assignment to thwart everything God. Their assignment to thwart everything kingdom. Their assignment to thwart everything righteousness. Everything peace. Everything joy. That means they will not stop until they destroy your life. They will not stop until they destroy your destiny. Luke chapter 11 please. Luke chapter 11. Let's read from verse 19 and then 20. Luke chapter 11. Jesus now. This was a debate. 
they had never seen demons casted out no what would happen is that every time someone were possessed they would stone the person so that by killing the body the demon would go and look for another body but Jesus brought another theology that you could preserve the body and separate the spirit that caused the trouble and they said no this is not ordinary this is by Beelzebub the prince of demons they were that educated to know that demons had a structure and there was a prince over them they said these demons because at that time they did not do what was called deliverance they did what was called occultic pacifism that means that you conjure rituals through as as explained by a medium then you pacify the spirit and the spirit will rest for a while and you think you are free it will reemerge when you are angry we do it in cultures today most of what people call deliverance is just pacifism for deliverance to happen it has to be in the name of Jesus there is no other name under heaven given to men that can produce salvation he said in my name they shall cast out demons he said if I by Beelzebub cast out devils by whom do your sons cast them out therefore they shall be your judges 20 but he says if I with the finger of God cast out demons I by that I prove to you that the kingdom of God has come that means healing the sick casting out demons is more than just validating that the man is anointed it's announcing to the realm of the spirit that the kingdom has found expression within a territory what is the kingdom the sovereign rule the culture the governing influence of the king Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Say, everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored. Take it one time as a prophecy. Everything that was lost. Shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Demon spirits, listen to me. They have a very real assignment in the life of people. Their assignment is to impede everything that represents the purposes of God. This is not to scare you, victory is already ours. But the administration of victory must be understood. Are we together? Just because a plate of food is before you does not guarantee satisfaction. You can die of hunger with food in front of you. The reality of what we know to be the finished work of Christ is true but the administration that means to make it manifest here and now there is a technology for administering it that it comes through men by engaging the forces of victory the power of the blood the power of the name these are all spiritual forces they are arsenals that are given to the believer that if with understanding you engage them then your life can represent kingdom come in experience otherwise you will just be aware that these things are available but your life will never taste of victory if I by the finger of God that is already there, that has always been there, but if it is revealed to you now, by casting out those demons, if they could go before that time, they would have gone. Listen, let me tell you this. I have seen that time never brings victory. You can remain in a situation forever and yet not be victorious. But once the reality of the kingdom, the name, the blood is administered, then you will watch the wonder-working power of these spiritual forces coordinating themselves together. God has always been mighty but we never knew until he came down to our realm and did something. The Spirit of God hovered around the face of the water, but His potentials could not be seen until God spoke. Elohim said, Light be. And the Holy Ghost said, Now darkness, you watch me. And He just pushed away darkness like a curtain. And there was light. 
Just because you do not want that situation in your life does not mean it will go. It does not answer to desire. It will take more than desire to walk in victory. Now, thanks be to God, the Bible says, which causes us always to triumph. Thanks be to Him. Number one, for making those provisions available. Then number two, for giving us the intelligence to help us administer victory. The administration of victory is where the challenge of many believers is. So, we sit down, we, we know that certain levels of victory should be. But dominion is not knowing what should be. It's making it happen. That's really dominion. Dominion is not knowing that restoration is possible. That's just knowledge. Dominion is sustaining the spiritual faculty to enforce restoration. So that regardless the negating forces, it will still manifest in your life. And then to stop it from happening again. So we are here tonight by the grace of God not to waste our time. We are here tonight not to teach cunningly devised fables. We are here to allow the revelation of the love and the power, the might of God to be made visible here in our midst. We are here to put an end to all kinds of yokes, the things that plague the saints and sabotage the name of the Lord over our lives. This is why we are here. If we are able to fulfill this it is assignment done otherwise every other thing we are going to be discussing tonight is stories now watch the multitude of people who came to give their lives to Jesus I can tell you if you talk to them many of them had always had the desire but as simple as it looked the, the only God will open your eyes in the spirit to see what it takes for someone to actually come to Jesus there are people who saw miracles but never the Bible says some doubted it takes more than miracles for people to be converted and to be transformed. Hallelujah. He that told you have asked for nothing, Jesus said, ask that you will receive, that your joy may be complete. You don't need things to have joy, but you need results for your joy to be full. Complete. One last scripture, Matthew chapter 10, and then we'll pray. Matthew chapter 10, and then we'll pray. Two people will run under the anointing, just bring them out and just keep them here. I want to prophesy to them. Matthew chapter 10, I just saw light. Just two people, bring them. Verse 1, then we'll go to 7 and 8. And when he had called unto him the 12 disciples, he gave them power against, not to cooperate with. The power is not for cooperation. No. That anywhere you find this spirit, there is power against. Against unclean spirits. The assignment of that power is that by it you will cast them out. And then number two, you will heal a variety of sicknesses. And all manner of diseases. He gave them power. He said, gentlemen, don't go alone. You will need this ability. On your way, you will meet spirits that are not the Holy Ghost. Anywhere you find them, no discussion, no negotiation. Get them out of the way. And when you get them out of the way, give me verse. Please go back to verse 1 again. It says, when you get them out of the way, do not forget that they have left an effect in the body of the victims. The spirit may have gone, but the sickness that it has caused, while it was there, it ate your liver. While it was there, it ate a part of your body. So the exit of the spirit is not all there is. It says, heal the various problems that your presence caused. Jesus gave us that command clean spirits. The moment you see them, remember, you were given something against them. Power. Against unclean spirits. The power is not your own. You were given stewardship over it. So you don't need to be afraid. The one who gave you tested it before giving you. You're, you're not here hoping. It's not something that you made up that you are testing. You were given. A man can receive nothing. 
my brothers and my sisters, except it is given to him. Power over unclean spirits. It says, with that power, you cast them out. With that power, heal all manner of sicknesses. Listen, the healing ministry is a real ministry. It's a ministry whose validity can be proven here and now. That an infirmity in your body, in a moment, the moment you find it gone, don't ask an unwise question, how did it go? Power was given from heaven. It takes more than mere words. There is an ability of the spirit that heals the sick. And all manner of diseases. Poverty is a disease. Retrogression is a disease. It may not be a bodily infirmity, but it takes away your ease. Anything that does not give you rest is a disease. Are we blessed? Verse 7. As ye go, preach, saying, the influence, the dominion of heaven has come. And hand means it's within your reach. It's not a reality you have to hope one day. It has come to you. This is what the Bible calls the mystery of godliness. That God is now manifest in the flesh. The reality of God can be felt in the midst of his people. You can taste and see that the Lord is good. Verse 8. Prove that what you are teaching is true. By healing the sick. By cleansing the lepers. By raising the dead. By casting out demons. He says spare not. When you are afraid and it looks like the power will end. Remember you were given it freely. Don't mind it. Use it judiciously. When it has to do with casting out devils. Don't do it as if God gave you a bottle of power. It's not a bottle of anointing oil. This is power that resides in heaven. Freely you have received. Freely you have received. Be lavish when you are dispensing it. When a family is oppressed, don't solve one problem and leave the rest. The power is sufficient. Grace, take that power. New dimension in the spirit. Take that power. New dimension in the spirit. Elevate that force. Take that power. Take that anointing. Take that power. Take that power. This is an impartation. I release that grace upon you. Power against some quick spirit. He gave them power. He gave them power. The Bible is not a lie. It does not tell lies. He gave them power. When he gave the power, he knew your condition would come. He gave them power over unclean spirits. Power over retrogression. Power over unfavorable situations. Without this power, even if you have the message, you are not an effective messenger. It is the message and the backing that makes the messenger effective. Don't understand the message alone. The message without the backing makes you look like a liar. Listen, one prayer point before I begin to minister. Father, this power from on high, let it be effective in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. It takes both the message and the power. The message and the power. The message is not effective. Just because of the message, the message and the power. The message of prosperity and the power to prosper. The message of healing. The message of prosperity and the power to prosper. The message of healing and the power to heal. The message of lifting and the grace that lifts. The message of restoration and the unction that restores. 
Hallelujah. Now, please look up. Pay attention. Don't be distracted. The Lord is showing me a very interesting vision and I want to pray. I'm looking at people in the realm of the spirit. And yet I'm seeing others and I'm not seeing eyes. They don't have eyes. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. And this is... This is a very serious spiritual condition. But I'm seeing the power of God. That spiritual blindness that has come upon people by witchcraft is about to be lifted right now. I don't know how many they are, inside or outside, but fire is coming upon you now to open your eyes in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. May that grace come now upon you, opening of your eyes. I tear off that veil. I tear off that veil in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. My friend, this man, what do you do? From where? From where? Mo way? Where is that? Okun State. Okun State. Okun State. I want to pray for you. One of the reasons why God sent you here is to receive the grace for signs and wonders. That's my job. Because I'm seeing you pray, and the Lord said you should come to me, and I will minister to you. Grace for signs. Relax, Mr. Man. Let me talk to you. Are you alone? I come with my pastors. Your with my pastors. Two of you. The word of spirit ministry. It's all right, sir. Do you believe in impartation? Oh yes, sir. You believe grace like this, sir. The Lord sent me to you. I will pray with you, sir. Do ministry with integrity, but you will go back and you will marvel and wonder oh, at the God. grace of God that you will see as well. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Lord sent me to you, Mama. This woman. Come. Your life is about to change. Come, Mama. Where are you coming from, ma? Come, ma. Where are you coming from, ma? I'm from Lokoja. From Lokoja. From Lokoja. Yes, and I went to Kano before I came here. Ah, Lok- Lokoja. I'm staying in Lokoja. I'm seeing what you have to do with Bauchi. No. Huh? I'm not in Bauchi. There is help. Hold on, let me talk to you. I'm seeing something that is coming to you that is coming from Bauchi State. That's why I'm saying, what do you have to do with Bauchi? There is great help that is coming to you from Bauchi. Write it down. Because you said Lokoja, but what I'm seeing in my vision is Bauchi. I have to pray for you. Your life is about to change. When it's time to pray for the sick, I want you to open up your heart. Because every infirmity that is not of God must let you go. Father, the help that you are sending for her, let it come speedily by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And I command that spirit out of your life now. Now, in the name of Jesus, never, never to return. In the name of Jesus Christ, he gave us power against, power against, power against, power against. Come, you. Where are you coming Hold on please. Where are you coming from? Castina. From? Castina State. What do you do? I make snacks. I want to pray for you, sir. There is power from heaven that is coming upon you. Honestly, let me tell you this. God can arise as a helper of men. Oh. He can arise and show men help. The Holy Ghost is called a helper. It's not just a scripture. It's reality. It's his ministry. It's what he does. Madam, come. Lift your hands. You. Yes. I'm seeing oil coming on your head now. This woman. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus, help her. Everything that followed you here, that was not given to you by my God, I declare this night, it must let you go. let you go in the name of Jesus. Come. 
let me lay my hands on you i don't lay hands carelessly but my sister your life is about to change in a way that will surprise you you will marvel and wonder at the hand of god father let this be so for her i shift you to new dimensions in the spirit in the name of jesus christ where is the pastor that i pray for here please come you believe in jesus sir hold my hands i want to pray for you god is able to help men father let this man step into new dimensions of grace i release that anointing upon you in the name of jesus christ you are a pastor with him is he with you has he been with you? Back at the ministry, right from the inception of the ministry. Grace for you in the name of Jesus. May the wisdom of God come upon you. In the name of Jesus. Who is this one? she do in the ministry she is the stock person and she helps in the ministry as well as in the choir as well as in organizing things pray that god will raise help huh you are overworking this lady she's doing too many things in the ministry don't be embarrassed huh? pray that god will send other people too she's really resourceful but don't stretch her too much let her work within the limit of her jurisdiction she's useful but there are other people that the lord will call to praise the name of the lord my dear the lord help you and show you mercy in the name of jesus christ asabe i'm hearing the name asabe who is asabe Asabe, this is the name that I'm hearing. We're going to be seated shortly. Asabe. I don't know who has that name, but the Lord is ministering to me. Is there someone with that name? Very quickly, let's just save time. Someone who shout under the anointing outside overflow one. Please just carry the person and bring the person. Let me speak to the person. Oh, you? That's your name? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit. Liver, my dear, place your hand on your stomach. Take away this demonic thing that I see planted. Every planting that is not of God, I command it to go right now. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Father, anoint her with favor. This is a grace that God is bringing upon your life. Anoint her with favor. Even for the times that are coming, anoint her with great favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Great favor by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit. Please, if, if I don't call you, you, you don't have to come out, please. Don't worry. God will touch you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, come. You, yes. No, not you. This. I want to pray. Look at my eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke the spirit that will not let your family go. I command by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, let that spirit give way right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh no, you can't stand. This is Koinonia. In the name of Jesus Christ. Complete victory. Listen, let me teach you something. It is important that you understand how powerful a believer is when you are in partnership with the Holy Spirit. We live in a society that has demeaned the power of God. 
They mock pastors, mock people, and people just think a pastor is just somebody higher than, you know, just somebody who is some religious bigot. It's not that. We are ordinary people in ourselves. But my brothers and my sisters, when the Holy Spirit comes, when you hold my So we are not just Please you are a man of God here Let me encourage you This is not a call to empty pride and arrogance But there is a level of confidence and certainty That you have This power God gave us Is not CBN that gave us It's not a political party that gave us It's not some It's not even a lab It's not a drug that was manufactured in the lab what God gave us is not a vaccine. Power against. The Bible says a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field. Knowledge is important. Hallelujah. Sir, can I talk to you? Come. I'm about to pray for the sick shortly. Help him carefully so that he doesn't turn. Where are you coming from, sir? Help us with the mic, the technical. Can you help us, please? Okay. Nasarawa State. Yes, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Yes, sir. You came alone? Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. Sir, look at me. You need help in your life, number one. You really, this is just what you need. More than even favor, you just need help. That God will raise people to plead your cause and speak for you. Can I pray for you? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you show this our uncle and our father help. Help from heaven. Let it come upon your life and take you to a new level. Now. You will never be the same. I place something upon your life that will compel everybody around you to begin to help you. I, I, I keep praying that God will help us understand how spiritual transactions happen. Look at this man now. I'm not looking down on him, but look at this man now. He's not even aware of what has come on him. He just knows that he came for Koinonia. Now, this man will go back to Nasarawa and watch this. Oh dear. The power of God is a fearful thing. Sing me that Solomon Lange song, Al Heri. a Nigerian film. I don't even know the beginning, the end. I don't know. I just watched a portion of it. And in that film, I, I want to, I'm just trying to narrate something. I think a woman wanted to force her husband to start behaving well or something like that. And according to the film, she went, you know how Nigerian films can be. That was where I started watching. She went to um, somebody and, you know, complained, my husband is not behaving well. I think it's time for him to start behaving well. 
they conjured all kinds of things and gave her. And I remember, you know how Nigerian films act? It's like his spirit just appeared and then they put it inside one tiny, one thing that looks like this um, bottle of, you know, and the man was inside there. So they gave the woman to go and hide it, hide it uh, maybe somewhere in our drawer. It was, the man came back home and Nigerian film just showed a light, just came on him. That man became like a toy. Wash my clothes, yes, ma'am. What? While I was watching it, I was not thinking about the actors. I knew they are acting. But I was saying, my God, look what a habitless programmed. A stubborn man who will not listen to his wife. But she now carried him and put him in a bottle. And compliance began immediately. Could this be what God meant when he said, Thou anointest my head with oil? That I can listen. Your environment is programmable, not to demean men, but that God can put something upon you that causes you to begin to define your realities in a fearful way. Hey. Physically, you don't see anything on your head. You don't see anything on your hand. But just because it is unseen does not mean it is unreal. lives will continue to be on ending struggles until we really understand the ministry of God's anointing, the power that is invested upon our lives and the assignment of that power it is, it is a labor that will never end to do anything in this kingdom in the flesh people will not just help you because you need help no people will not just lift you because you need to be lifted that gentleman holding the flag of Ghana, is that Ghana? Come, your life is about to change. Stand up. I want to pray for you. What do you do? Um, um, this, uh, um, I graduated from the um, University of Ghana 2019 and the Holy Ghost has to wait for two years. So my two years, I saw that they passed people from Kaduna and they wrote on this Zaria, e and I. And then I followed and came. No. So that was right. There is a prophetic grace on your life. Yeah, 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 yes, I sir. want to pray for you. Yes, this started when you were on campus. Yes, yes sir. Listen to me very carefully. Yes, the Lord asks you to wait, not just to waste time, but to prepare you. Yes, sir. Your ministry is not in Nigeria. Yes, you are going back to Ghana. Yes, sir. That you will do business and ministry. These two things. Yes, yes, there is the grace coming yes, on you. Sir. And God is going to move you in unprecedented dimensions. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, I activate every dormant dimension that is in your life. I release you. Go back to Ghana. A sign and a wonder. Go back to Ghana. The seeing eyes, the hearing ears. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now this gentleman just came, just like I told you. While he's in the plane or a bus going back, he believes that all he's carrying back are his clothes. Until he lands there. You see, there are forces in the... If you don't call me, I won't come. Are we together? But it does not mean I am not there. There are these graces can call. It does, if it does not come to you, there was no grace calling it. There is favor there. There is breakthrough there. But what is calling it? The same person who will not give to you. Someone else will come into that domain and he wants to keep. The place of encounter. This fair lady, come. You. What is wrong with your legs? I had an accident. I broke a leg and a hand. You broke your leg and your hand. How long? It's been three years. Three years. You believe in Jesus? Yes. Your first assignment is to be very serious with God. Don't, I hope you're not embarrassed. 
please very serious with God so that what God gave you does not become a curse over your life huh? so that's number one but number two can I pray for you I'm going to pray for the sick shortly you believe in miracles yes sir <laughs> ah. father I stretch my hands right now ah. there is a kingdom that we represent he did not send us without help my sister look at me I pray for this your ailing hand I know that it's fractured look at me we're not irresponsible people there are doctors here who will not ask you to do stupid things without empowerment you see we live in a society we know who sent you before you ask people to do certain things they will arrest you one day when you do something that is wrong ah. it is on the strength of your being sent ah. that you can have the confidence look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I bring life to your limbs Amen life to your hands look at me walk liver lift your legs go ahead walk lift your hands your hands and bring it down look at fractured hand and limbs lift it up just try to match is there any improvement look the lady is even surprised You couldn't stand on that leg. I can't stand on this leg. Now go ahead, march. Hey! In the name of Jesus Christ, this is permanent in your life. Forever. You go back a changed person, you go back transformed, and this will never happen to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ pray for the sick shortly but the Lord is showing me there is a serious miracle I don't know if you are blind or is it that you don't see well or you don't see far you are outside as I'm praying right now the power of God is coming on you you will be surprised that you will be able to see things very clearly when you find that person let that person come right now I'm seeing a miracle happening outside we'll be praying for the sick shortly Praise the Lord, praise, praise the Lord. Lord, let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, to Jesus, the Son, and give happening that's why I'm quiet there is an impartation happening in your family they begin to answer to the name of the Lord right now in 
the name of Jesus Christ. Kai, hold on. I'm seeing there is a family this week coming. There would have been an obituary, but I'm seeing the power of God in the name of Jesus. Since God has revealed it, Hali Selete Shalakato. Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? Not by the sword, not by accident, not by infirmity. There is victory over and above the grave. In the name of Jesus, life. Life to that family. Life to that family. Life to that family. We replace death with life. We replace death with life. Life to that family. Hallelujah. Let me pray. The Lord is showing me a particular woman. I don't know if you are here. Six years. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Six years. And please don't come out at random and make sure you are married. Six years. You are trusting God. Six years. From where, madam? From Delta State. You came alone? Yes, sir. Six years? Yes, sir. Six years. Six years. Let me pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, place your hand on your stomach. Father, by the message of the God of David. Give this woman a miracle, supernatural miracle, right now, supernatural miracle, just help her, supernatural miracle, in the name of Jesus, according to the time of life that you return with your testimony, in the name of Jesus Christ, can I pray for you, place your hand on your womb, in the name of Jesus, Father do a miracle, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is it? Our Father? Okay. Yes. When I'm going to pray for the sick, but just bring those who have been healed, not just those who have mentioned their case. Sir, how long has this been? Over three years now, now. Completely. I, I see not, it's not clear at all. Please place your hand there. Don't worry. Place your hand on your eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the Living God, may the Lord open your eyes. May the Lord do a miracle for you right now. In the name of Jesus. Is it just the eyes? Who brought you? Huh? My dad. What was wrong with him? Uh, he had um, low blood pressure and it led to kind of little paralysis. He can't really walk properly. He can't see properly. We've come here. Like this is the third time I'm bringing him. Here. Okay. Yes. From where? We stay in Zaria here. We stay in Graceland. Okay. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, by your mercy, not only the eyes, we pray that you touch his entire body. In the name of Jesus Christ, gently take him and test him. Eh? Gently take him and test him. Don't, don't, please don't force him. Don't push him. We're not pretending he's here. And then help. He was outside. You would have tested him before bringing him, so that you don't give the the old man a lot of burden. But we're going to pray. But you ch check him and test him carefully. Okay. But there's still someone, the person I'm, I'm prophesying about, there is a miracle that is going to happen to the person. You are outside, you don't see very well. The hand of God is going to come upon you, you're going to start seeing very clearly. When that happens to that person, let me have that person here. We're going to pray for the sick. Why is she here? Eye problem. How long? For the past, like it's long for the past three years, 
They even said I need the glasses. But like from Monday now, I noticed like something in my eye. Then touching it, I noticed a lump hair. I used to notice a lump hair. Yesterday I was in sick bay. Like the eye is even like closed. I can't see properly with it. If I blink it like this before, I can't. But immediately you prophesy, everything just disappeared. I can blink the eye. I can blink. Is there, is there pain there right now? No, the lump, everything has disappeared. The lump, the lump was there. My friend, peace, she can't testify yesterday. They were beating me. I went to sick bed. They had to give me drugs. Praise the Lord. Come. We celebrate miracles. Father, in the name of Jesus, you will never return. I release grace upon you right now. Completely. It's over forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for the sick now. I believe in miracles. I truly believe in miracles. I believe that it is God's desire that the saints walk in health. I believe it's God's desire that we experience the blessing of health. But I also know that there is a devil out there who is particularly antagonistic to our health. And this is why God puts meetings like this. Now, because of COVID, usually um, the, the norm is that we call people out and just have people lay hands on them. We may not be able to do that right now because of COVID. But then we'll take a few testimonies right now. I'm going to pray for you. Believe in the healing power of Jesus. Listen carefully. As I pray for you by the Spirit of God, some of you already, your falling under the anointing here was not just for nothing. I want you to check yourself when I'm done and I ask you to check yourself. The moment that happens to you, I'm going to ask you to run and come here whether you're inside or outside. We'll take a few testimonies and then we'll proceed further in the service. Please listen to me. You can stand in for your loved ones. You who are following from all around the world, I want you to connect by faith. The power of God is real. That woman lifting a bottle of oil at the back. Who is that? Come. I'm deep in love with you. Abba, Father. I'm deep. Please stand up, madam. Alright, madam, God has remembered you. Where are you coming from? Yeah. Where? Hey, sir. Where are you coming from? I'm from, from Kaduna. Kaduna. I'm from Pama. Okay. I want to pray for you. What are you trusting God for? Hey. This is my seventh year in ministry. I talked everywhere. You are, you are a ministry. Yes, sir. Your own, your own work yes, committed sir. to you. Yes, sir. This is my seventh year in ministry. Nothing is working. Hey. Hey. Don't cry, madam. He, that's why he has called, madam. Just calm down. Just have faith. Believe in Jesus. Listen. This is a place where you see. Sometimes, uh, uh, but don't, don't, don't. Don't think she's just crying for nothing. A woman will call. Ministry can be very hard when the various and don't worry, madam. The various and gracings are not there. I think it was Bishop Oedipo who said, remember, while the church was not growing, it was stunted. They were doing their best. Nothing was working. One time he gathered a few pastors and they were flogging it out in prayer. And the Holy Ghost asked him, he said, step out. And then he looked and saw a thick layer, according to him, of darkness. And that God told him, this is the blindfolding layer that misrepresents what you are doing. That thing that happened to him is instructive because it's still a formula the devil is using. Where good is called evil and evil is called good. 
your good is misrepresented so this 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 our uh, dear auntie now may be crying only god knows the kind of ministry he's given her maybe prayer prophetic whatever it is intercessory ministry will pray for you god is empowering people madam but let me give you a kind counsel in the name of jesus and in the name of honesty it takes more than a sincere heart to do ministry effectively number two it takes more than a good message it is always the message and the backing the message and the backing if you have a backing without a message it's not god that sent you if you have a message without a backing even if it's god that sent you your ministry will not be effective i'm sure that there are many pastors here prophets apostles and some of you may be relating to this our dear sister situation and you may be saying god but why are things not working i am sincere i love you i'm preaching the truth with integrity why don't i have results it is the message and the backing the message and the backing When you have the accurate message and you have the backing, believe me, you will have results. Praise the name of the Lord. And so I, I'm about to pray for the sick, but the Holy Spirit, you, you just kept coming to me and that's why I want to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you, madam, that God will do two things for you. Number one genuine grace for signs and wonders that God will place upon your life number two accurate understanding of scripture many please don't feel embarrassed many prophetic and intercessory ministries do not know the word they do not have an accurate understanding of the word of god and because their passion in prayer is making them to ascend realms in the spirit they they pass an escape velocity and come into a realm where the word of god is not there to define the coordinates of their activity so any spirit they meet just because it did not hurt them yet they assume it was the holy ghost so they can come with a mix of messages genuine messages by the holy ghost but you hear another thing and you say no on one hand you know that yesterday's prophecy was accurate but tomorrow's own it looks like it's another spirit and they themselves do not know because the devil i told the bible says no weapon fashioned weapons don't appear they are fashioned meaning that before satan builds the weapon that attacks you he will take an a, 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 a an inventory of your knowledge and your ignorance and he will use your ignorance and your knowledge and plot the way he will attack you that's why it says the weapon are fashioned Oh, you know about prayer but do you know about the supremacy of the word of god above every other spirit and influence if he finds out that that's not it satan can come as an angel of light he will not come with a demon with horns he can come as a nice angel and he says you know what leave zaria or just get up and lock yourself for seven days because he once had God told you that and the last time God spoke to you you locked yourself for seven days you came out with a new level of the anointing so Satan comes mimicking that voice the next time you lock yourself for seven days you will almost die there because the grace to sustain you is not there and you will come out with a plethora of evil spirits this is the most sure word of prophecy exalted above every spiritual experience based on the authority of the word of god we have the basis to judge any experience no matter how accurate and no matter from whom it comes are we to, are we together now so the real prayer for those who are particularly called into the prophetic and apostolic ministry and then intercessory ministry you must trust god for grace to have a strong word life word life does not just mean reading scripture word life means understanding the foundational pillars the doctrine of scripture that's what gives you stability you are steadfast and immovable so while your spiritual 
antenna is routing around the realm of the spirit you are able to pick signals and the word of God helps you to decipher sense from nonsense and then you communicate with power and with accuracy there are things you pick from the realm of the spirit they are not worth announcing because before they arrive the word you have has settled it So, madam, among other things, I pray that that grace for an accurate understanding of the doctrine of scripture, that it will come on you. And then number three, the ministry of helpers. I want to pray that God will raise people, particularly financial helpers and support structures. Let me tell you, no matter how anointed you are, do you know the cross that Jesus died on? Somebody had to, if, if... Poverty could not have even made that cross. Poverty is a very bad thing I want you to fight. Not from a fleshly standpoint. I have said this for a long time. Even many people who talk about money do not understand God's dimension of prosperity. Let me tell you, fight poverty like you fight sin. Fight poverty like you fight demons. It is a, it is a deadly weapon in the hand of Satan. It can discourage you. It can reduce everything God gave you to mean like nothing. fight poverty by hustling you don't fight poverty by being obsessed about money no there is an economic system to this kingdom the understanding of it is what liberates you you shall know the truth and it says the truth that you know shall make you free hallelujah so madam i pray for you in the name of jesus by the spirit of grace i pray that these tripartite dimensions of the spirit may they be active and alive in you in the name of jesus christ the grace for signs and wonders number two i pray for you accurate understanding of scripture and then number three the ministry of helpers can i tell you this anything becomes easy when there are people to support you if i want to lift this now no matter how healthy i am my inability to lift it is not ill health it's just that it was not designed to be lifted by one person but if there are ten people here it will be lifted like a fly if that thing is your family your destiny your ministry it says the lord gave the word but great not small great was the company of them that published it i can tell you sincerely many of us lack genuine helpers genuine helpers the man of david helpers of the world the bible says they came to help so that you will excel. Madam, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Very quickly, let's pray for the sick. You're trusting God for healing for yourself, for your loved one. You don't have to kneel, sir. Please stand. I want you to lay your hands by faith. Everywhere, inside, all of the overflows. And then, those following online from any nation at all god is no respecter of persons the bible declares and remember he gave us power our confidence is in the fact that we are sent lay your hands i want to pray for you now listen i will rebuke that sickness and i will minister the life and the power of jesus to you your assignment number one is to believe and then in believing you will check yourself and the moment you find out that there is a miracle i will allow you to come and stand here hallelujah believe god the bible says blessed is she that believes for unto her that there shall be a performance of the things that were spoken to her i believe in miracles Father, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, the power of God is coming on you, my dear, this lady. There is a miracle happening to her right now. Yes, that lady. As soon as I began to pray, I just saw the power of God flowing to this lady. In the name of Jesus, agree with me by faith and pray for you. 
Father, your people are gathered here inside and outside believing for miracles. Help this woman, my God. The healing anointing is moving all across this place. You are here, touching every life. I worship you. I'm still praying, don't sing. I worship you. You are here, rearranging destiny. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you. The healing anointing is moving across this place. Natural miracle right now. Every deaf ear, partial deafness, or complete deafness be open right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You're standing in for someone here who is not here present on ground. I declare in the name of Jesus, no matter where they are. Let the power of the Holy Ghost touch them. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Someone, there's someone who has um, heart palpitations. You're breathing. Sometimes I'm seeing you place your hand on your chest. It's like abnormal breathing. It's not happening at the normal frequency of breathing. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to come out. The Lord is healing you. In the name of Jesus. I will ask you to check yourself. I'm seeing like four pile. Pile. For one of you it's a very severe case of pile. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus. Pile. In the name of Jesus. 
Now, I don't know what the condition is, um, but there's something that happens to people um, around their throat that they say they have to visit cut the throat or something. You know what I'm? This is what this is. I, I honestly don't know the name of the condition, but this is what I'm sensing that the Lord, there's somebody with that thing. There is there is severe pain. It's like you're in fact, I don't know if it has even been recommended to go to some of these people who surgically just I don't know if that they cut it away, but the power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are a sickler here, SS. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Diabetes. The Lord is healing diabetes. Be healed right now. Hepatitis. In fact, I'm hearing hepatitis B. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me a condition. I don't know what this is, but if you take milk, milk, like milk, normal milk, something happens to you, your body. If you take milk, you are an adult or not a child, but if you take milk, I don't know what, what, something just happens to you in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know who that person is but the power of God is touching you right now be healed supernaturally be healed supernaturally then I'm seeing someone heaviness heaviness in your body it looks as if you are carrying two people on you the power of God is touching you right now and God is bringing you healing in the name of Jesus there's someone you have a pain right here just across your spine down to the abdominal area the power of God is touching you right now supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now whether I mention your situation or not in Jesus name the Christ of God be healed now be healed now be healed now I, I just saw a breast lump the left side of your breast you've had in fact multiple lumps after this prayer I want you to check it is gone right now in the name of Jesus now as we raise a song I want you to check yourself if you came with someone do what you couldn't do and the moment you find out that there is healing for you make your way here as we celebrate them there are miracles happening everywhere miracles happening everywhere miracles happening everywhere check yourself those from any overflow at all my God God is touching people you can make your way to the front right now very quickly direct them direct them so that we have we make it very orderly if they are coming from from outside and is for miracles then allow them to come in the name of Jesus I see miracles everywhere very quickly check yourself Koinonia are you celebrating miracles I see miracles everywhere keep coming check yourself check yourself miracles everywhere There's a miracle here. He had diabetes for since 2019. Wow. And diabetes. Yes. And he had issues with his sight. But the moment the, the prophetic word was declared, he said, "There's yes. no." Let him talk. How long, sir? 
2019. Okay, what happened to you now? Presently, I felt nothing and I can see clear. Wow. You can see clearly. Yes. Give Jesus praise. Come. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Yes, please. Very quickly, let's do it so that we'll save time. There's still a lot to do. Praise the Lord. Since, since please pay attention to the miracles yes, here. Since morning today, I've been having a severe headache. And it has been a constant thing to me. Every time headache. So, even when I came to this service, yes. I went to the prayer band there. I could not stay to the end. Even when the service was going on, when you pray, the headache is lifted up. I can't Completely. Yes, it will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it working? The mic? Help him. Hallelujah. Okay. You mentioned cases of palpitation and abnormal breathing. She yes. said she was born with it. But immediately you How long? Let, let me talk with you. Yes. So I was born with it. Okay. Please help us with the volume technical. Are you child, helping us? As a child, I couldn't even stop breast milk. My mom said they were giving it through my nose. I struggled with breathing for Breast milk through your nose? Yes. Sir. I, I okay. could not stop. I could not stop. And what happened to you now? Right now, I, I actually tied my nose like this. I could not stay with it for like two seconds. I struggle. And right I, now, yes, completely okay. gone. Yes, My God. Sir, yes, sir. You see, listen, more than validating that a man of God is anointed, I taught you already that miracles are proof that God is in the midst of his people. And you must learn to celebrate miracles sincerely. Let them come. Let them come. I would like to hear what happened to this, my dear daughter. Did you come with her? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, my sister, please hold my hand. It will never return to you now. Go now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. So you mentioned bone cases. She had had twisted ankles for years behind her, but twisted ankles. Twisted ankles. Which one? Only. Which of them? For how long? Last year, sir. Twisted. Yeah. Run. Check it. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Completely gone. Ah. We really appreciate you for watching our videos. Like. Comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.